So now in this screencast, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to create a podcast. And I'll be using something called Anchor. So you can see up here, anchor.fm is where you go. And I'm on the sign up page. So I'll just uh, give myself a name and I'll use an email address and I'll use a password. OK, and I confirm that I'm not a robot and click sign up. Well, as soon as I click sign up, I'm taken to this screen here. And um, you can see the stages here. Make your first episode, set up your podcast, etc., and distribute it. Well, let's go straight in and make our first episode. Now, this is the important part of using Anchor. And it really is very easy to use. I have four buttons here. The first is a record button where I can record directly from my microphone into the new podcast. Um, something here called listener messages, which I'll skip over for now. A library, and if you've used Anchor in the past, you'll be able to use previous recorded audio and upload it into this episode of your podcast. And finally, something called transitions, which is uh, sound effects and free music, just to make your podcast sound that little bit more professional and attractive. Well, I'm going to jump straight in and record some audio. So I'm going to click here. And now um, I'm told the uh, microphone can hear me. And that is the correct microphone. So as soon as I click this button, I'm going to start recording. So here we go. Audio is an increasingly popular medium. It's engaging, it's portable and it's versatile. Just look at any train, bus or people on the street. How many of them do you see listening to audio? Trust me, it's not all music people are listening to. They're listening to audio books, radio, their favorite podcasts, or even learning a language. Audio and podcasting in particular is the trending medium, and we cannot afford to overlook it as a key tool in learning and development. Okay, well, I've just stopped recording, and I can see now that my audio is uploading. Okay, well, that didn't take very long at all, and um, here is my recording. Now, all I need to do, that once that has uploaded, is to get hold of it and drag it across to this box over here. I could also, if I hadn't recorded directly, upload audio into this box here. And now we get to the fun part, which is adding a little bit of music or transition to my, to my podcast. I'm going to go down here um, and see if I can find something reasonably uh, attractive or interesting and um, I think I recall this one so I'm just going to uh, add this one to the episode and then I'm going to add it again because I want it to uh, be at the start and at the finish of my audio and you can see the way I moved that second musical clip just up to the top on top of my audio there of course there's nothing to stop me going back to the record button and adding another recording and putting it anywhere in this sequence of elements in my podcast. We may be able to see down here that I could if I wanted to preview my episode uh, and I would normally do that if I wasn't recording a, uh, a screen tutorial. Instead though I'm coming up here and I'm going to click on save the episode and it takes me now to this screen here and I'll pause while I fill in some detail. So you can see in this episode options page that I've put in an episode title and then I've put some uh, some text in here. I've even put a link. You can put a hyperlink into this text here, uh, taking people to Anchor FM website. Well, now I could save this as a draft or I could publish and it tells me, do I want the published date to be now or do I want it sometime in the future? So I'm leaving it here and uh, publish date now and I'll go straight up here and publish and you can see that that is now publishing here's the detail I'm just going to pause while this resets itself and I fill in this extra detail here so to finish setting up the podcast I've had to enter some details which I've just done um, given it a description and a title a category and I'm now going to click on continue so I do that and I could add some cover art. I might do that. I'll just pause while I do that. I'll upload an image 
and then hopefully you'll see the result in a moment. Okay, you can see this screen now that uh, I've uploaded a, an image to my, uh, to my podcast and it says now we're submitting your podcast and it will be available on all major platforms. So they're going to let me know as soon as it gets approved on each platform. I'll say great, thank you. And this takes me to my uh, episode summary screen. Uh, it tells me how many plays there have been. Here's the information I put into the earlier screen. And if I scroll down, I can see all I need to know about this particular episode. And I can even go back, edit it, or simply play it through. But what I'm going to do now is go to my dashboard just here. And here we are. Um, this is my first episode, currently available on two platforms that will increase later. But what I'm going to do is click on view the public site because this is the link that I would share with people. I'll click on the public site and that takes me to this screen here. So this is basically my home page and um, I think it looks quite nice. Here's my podcast, here are the details and I can simply play from here. I could also listen on Spotify if I wish. Let's give it a go and uh, see what happens. Audio is an increasingly popular medium. It's engaging, it's portable and it's versatile. Just so you can hear the train, podcast we recorded bus, now. So I'm going to the street. just pause How for a second. Listening to audio? And then... Um, there it is, there's the interface. The other thing I want to show you is this share button. So I click on share and I get a, a URL which I can send to people or click on, or I can simply copy this embed code and go to a Google site or a blog and simply embed that code. Here we are. And next. And hopefully I'll get a, an Anchor podcast player to embed. Just pause while that loads up. There it is. And insert. And you'll see now on my Google site that I have my uh, Anchor podcast ready to go. And when I preview this, uh, this site, and there it is. So I'll click here. popular medium. It's engaging, it's portable and it's versatile. Just look at any train. So there we are and that's the quick and easy way to make a professional looking and professional sounding podcast using Anchor. Don't forget you can do the same thing from your mobile phone.